their fire in your whole wings. Move over, ordinary hot dog eating contests, and place aside your admiration of steak eating champions. Now there are restaurants serving food so dangerous that you have to sign a waiver to eat there. From ghost pepper ice cream to habanero loaded pizzas, check out these restaurants that will burn your insides. Here are 10 restaurants where you have to sign a waiver to eat. Who's in the mood for a challenge? Broken Barrel Tavern. First off, Betty, <laughs> As a Palm Bay, Florida establishment, Broken Barrel Tavern is a massive 7,300 square foot sports bar specializing in beers. But what you need to try at the restaurant is their Ghost Wing Challenge. Many have attempted it, some have partially completed it, and only a legendary few have successfully conquered this beast of a challenge. The reward is your picture on the restaurant's wall of fame, a free drink of your choice, a t-shirt, and above all, eternal bragging rights. For all this glory, the first step is to sign a waiver that essentially states the following. In this 20 minutes long challenge, you get 12 minutes to eat 12 ghost wings, and the next eight minutes are called burn time. This is where the challenge gets brutal. During the burn time, contestants have no access to anything that can aid in decreasing the heat. And let the meat slide down your throat hole. No drink? dipping sauce, napkins, gloves, bathroom breaks, and no whining either. Now that we're convinced about the brutality of the ghost wings, let's take a look at what makes them so unbearably hot. For the uninitiated, the heat of any pepper is measured in Scoville units, with a traditional Tabasco sauce generally in the 2,500 to 5,000 range. A ghost pepper registers 1 million Scoville units of heat. The wings are apparently coated with a seasoning mix made up of the extracts from habanero and ghost peppers, one of the hottest peppers on the planet, along with other hot and spicy seasonings. Allen's Authentic Mexican Restaurant Located in Portland, Oregon, Allen's Authentic Mexican Restaurant is known to serve food with authentic flavors and seasonings of Chihuahua, Mexico. While the restaurant prides itself on serving traditional cuisine with a modern twist, what we're most fascinated by is is its Diablo Burrito Challenge. Try not to get into too much troubles, okay? <laughs> Often referred to as the spiciest burrito on earth, the Diablo burrito consists of a tortilla wrap stuffed with a medley of the hottest commercially available peppers, beans, rice, and New York strip steak, all doused in their homemade salsa sauce and topped with devilish serrano pepper horns. In all its glory, the burrito indeed looks like the devil incarnate. You're the devil? <laughs> it's always the one you least suspect. And the Diablo burrito challenge challenge is best described by the restaurant as a delicious, extremely hot challenge which takes you on a scuba dive into a volcano after walking on hot coals the day after you went camping in a forest fire. Yowza! And there is a specific method to eating the burrito. You have to literally take the devil by the horns and start by eating the serrano pepper horns and then moving on to the burrito itself. But before you even do that, there are other conditions to be met. You have to sign an extensive waiver that warns the participants of the risks of consuming the burrito and releases the restaurant of all responsibility. You get 10 minutes to polish off the burrito and are only allowed to drink water during the challenge. No dairy products are permitted. If you are successful in beating the current reigning champions, you will win a hand-blown glass trophy, a t-shirt, and free burritos for up to one year. Munchies 420 Cafe. For those living in or passing through Sarasota, California, a visit to the popular Munchies 420 Cafe is highly recommended. It is popular for being home of the fiery fire in your whole wings. The restaurant was featured on the Travel Channel's Man vs. Food show, where host Adam Richman attempted to eat these dangerously hot wings, but unfortunately failed to complete the task. Many others have tried too. I'm really 
hungry. But only a few have been successful. The fire in your whole wings recipe seems to be top secret, as its ingredients do not seem to be readily available on the restaurant menu. I also think I might be getting the, the famous munchies. But there is definitely some sort of spicy ingredient in the recipe, and what gives away the dangerous heat levels of these wings is the waiver that you are required to sign before consuming them, and the fact that the wings are available for dine-in only. The restaurant menu states that the dine-in bit is for the customer's own safety. With such statements, one can only wonder where these wings register on the Scoville scale, but we're sure they're pretty high up. The wings are only available on certain days, served to adult customers only, and not available after 10 p.m. Once you sign the waiver, you are given 20 minutes to eat 10 fire in your whole wings. If you succeed, you get a free t-shirt, but should you fail, you get featured on their wall of shame. Avellino's Decatur. This pizza's ready to bring the pain. A Georgia establishment, Avellino's Decatur is a family-friendly Italian restaurant that brings the robust flavors of Italy straight to the tables of Georgia. But their freshly made food is not why they're famous. The Decatur location of Avellino's attained international fame due to their incredible Il Diavolo pizza. The restaurant was also part of the Food Network 2012 reality series Heat Seekers. What makes the Il Diavolo pizza so special? For starters, you are required to sign a waiver before ordering it. Next, the pizza seems to be available only in one size, small. Pizza time. And lastly, the pizza's ingredients will blow your mind, and most likely burn your tongue, too. The pizza sauce is sprinkled with evil dust, a concoction made from dehydrated habanero, jalapeno, and ghost pepper flakes mixed with pizza sauce, to which toppings of mozzarella cheese and fresh hot peppers are added. The Il Diavolo pizza is certainly for the brave hearts only. Brick Lane Curry From the famed curry shops of Brick Lane in London comes the popular Brick Lane Curry restaurant located in New York City. Serving up a delectable mishmash of British Indian cuisine, this restaurant is well known for its dynamite fowl curry. Are you okay? Because you're sweating pretty profusely. It is described by the restaurant itself as an excruciatingly hot curry, more pain and sweat than flavor. I always react this way to spicy food. It is so hot that chefs are reportedly required to wear gas masks when preparing the curry. Now that's some serious level of hotness. Plus, customers ordering the curry are required to state a verbal disclaimer not holding the restaurant liable for any physical or emotional damage after eating the curry. The exact ingredients of the curry are not known, but some reports say that Butnaga Jalokia chili is used in the cooking process. And your reward for finishing the curry? A bottle of beer on the house, a certificate, and above all, eternal glory in the Hall of Fame. Jake Melnick's Corner Tap. All right, if I stand in the right spot in this parking lot, I can smell cocoa butter and fried chicken at the same time. Employing the services of one of the hottest peppers in the world is the Triple X Wings dish at Jake Melnick's Corner Tap Restaurant in Chicago. These insanely hot wings have been available at the restaurant since the early 2000s and have won many awards, too. To make the Triple X Wings sauce, the restaurant uses hickory smoked habanero that gives the wings a smoky, fruity flavor. Then they amp it up by mixing dry dried ghost pepper with orange juice to give it a sweet and hot taste. But the pepper that is the ultimate kicker in the sauce is the Trinidad Scorpion Pepper, which is melt your face off hot and is believed to have surpassed the ghost pepper on the Scoville scale. Oh, this porridge is too hot! Oh, wow, wow, wow! <laughs> All these peppers come together to make one of the hottest wing sauces on the planet. But before you can chow down on these wings, you need to sign a waiver. Once done, the staff will bring you a fireman's helmet, a bell, and your plate of wings. One bite of the triple X wings and your mouth is sure to scream for respite. Luckily, respite is at hand. All you have to do is ring the bell and the staff will bring you cooling plates. Cooling plates consist of milk, ice cream, bread, and slices of orange, all of which help in somehow reducing the heat. If you succeed in finishing your plate of triple X wings, you get your picture on Jake's Wall of Flame. Bushido Japanese Restaurant. Do you like sushi? 
Located in Charleston, South Carolina, Bushido Japanese Restaurant holds a unique challenge that is only for the brave. Their spicy tuna hand roll challenge redux, the seppuku challenge in Japanese, is a renowned challenge in the hot and spicy food world and was even featured on the TV show Man vs. Food. In order to undertake the challenge, you have to sign a waiver and release form. You are given one hour to eat 10 spicy tuna rolls that have an increasing level of heat from 1 to 10, and you must eat the rolls in that order. Omusake. Very good. To make matters worse, participants are not allowed any form of respite during the challenge. No milk, ice cream, avocados, etc. are allowed. Clearly, this challenge is not for everyone. Should you feel the wrath of the challenge, you are required to use the restroom and clean up after yourself. And the reward for going through the seppuku challenge is a coveted Bushido headband, your picture on the wall of legends, and complimentary chef's choice appetizer when whenever you visit the restaurant wearing your headband. Flying Pie With multiple locations in Boise, Idaho, Flying Pie Restaurant is a popular establishment in the state. Though the restaurant offers scrumptious pizzas throughout the year, You're delicious. <laughs> what they are most famous for are their hot habanero pizzas that are served during the habanero season in August. Why August? Well, August is when the habaneros are at their best, most flavorful, and at the peak of of their hotness. The habaneros are so hot that the restaurant uses separate kitchen utensils while preparing the habanero pizzas so that no small bit of the potent pepper accidentally ends up in regular pizzas. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. The restaurant believes that their habanero peppers are much hotter than the regular ones and are too potent for even those people who regularly eat spicy food. Thus, anybody ordering a habanero pizza is forewarned about its intensity and requested to finish eating the pizza on the restaurant premises so that the staff can ensure your safe return to life if the heat is too much for you. But if you choose to consume the habanero pizza outside the restaurant, like takeaway, leftovers, or delivery, you are required to sign a release waiver. The Ice Cream Store <gasps> Ice Cream Truck at first glance, the ice cream store in Delaware looks like a regular ice cream shop, with several delicious ice cream flavors on offer, and wedged in between innocent-looking flavors like African vanilla, brownie butter Oreo, pina colada, are the likes of the insane Devil's Breath Carolina Reaper Pepper Ice Cream and the Ghost Pepper Ice Cream. Both ice cream flavors require you to sign a waiver that absolves the shop and its management from any any liability arising out of the consumption of these ice cream flavors. I used to scoop cones here, and why shouldn't he? The ghost pepper ice cream flavor was reportedly the first of the two to be introduced and garnered quite a lot of media attention at the time because it required you to sign a waiver not just to buy it, but to sample it as well. And introduced just a while back by the ice cream store, the Devil's Breath Carolina Reaper Pepper ice cream is the newest bad boy in town. Similar to the ghost pepper ice cream, it is made up of a bright red colored vanilla ice cream that is blended with their signature Ed's Carolina Reaper Pepper Mash and cinnamon with a strawberry ribbon to finish it off. Chunky's Burger You should probably lay off the burgers. You're not going to be 22 forever, you know. Chunky's Burger is a family-friendly restaurant that serves tasty sandwiches, burgers, starters, and sides. While that description is quite innocent-sounding, Chunky's Burger hides an extremely wicked secret, the Four Horsemen Burger Challenge. Located in San Antonio, Texas, the Four Horsemen Burger at Chunky's Burger was once declared the hottest burger on the planet by the TV show Man vs. Food. Made with a sauce containing dangerously hot pepper peppers like the ghost pepper, serrano, jalapeno, and habanero, this burger is not for the faint of heart, as the restaurant's website states. And before you even attempt to order the burger, you have to sign a liability waiver. The rules are simple. You have 25 minutes to eat the burger and a 5-minute waiting period. No spitting, sharing, or restroom breaks are allowed. Mind if I go to the men's room? Please. Okay. Sure. Oh, oh. gosh. 
and a chuck bucket is provided to anyone who feels sick. The brave soul who completes the challenge gets their picture on the restaurant's wall of flame. There's no waiver to sign to check out one of our other great videos. Just tap that screen. And if it's your first time here, show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.